Welcome to the lecture about op-amp absolute value amplifier. In this tutorial you will see how op-amp absolute value amplifier works and how you can obtain signal waveforms by using online simulator. Absolute value amplifier should directly forward input signals on the output if input signal is positive and invert input signal to the output if input signal is negative. How does op-amp absolute value amplifier achieve that? Let's have a look at this scheme. In this scheme we use two op-amps and only one diode. If input what is happening on the output side? This circuit is not simple and we can first assume that output is negative. What would have happened then? Due to negative feedback op-amp 2 would try to operate in a linear regime pushing point D to negative voltage. Op amp 1 would be saturated to plus VCC and diode uh, would conduct current that would flow from point D to the input voltage source. On the other hand input is positive and point D is negative so the same current would flow into opposite direction. Obviously this assumption is not sustainable. Now we know that the electrical potential of the point A is also positive. Since not inverting terminal of op-amp 1 is grounded, it means that inverting terminal is on the higher potential than non-inverting. OP-amp 1 goes to negative saturation bringing negative minus VCC voltage to the anode and the diode D1 blocking diode D1. Input voltage is now brought to both inverting and non-inverting terminals to op-amp 2. Op-amp with a negative feedback will generally operate in a linear regime as long as it can hold. In here no current flows through resistors R1 and R2. Voltage difference from opposite terminals is input voltage minus input voltage uh, that is zero and there is no voltage drop, so input voltage is transferred to point B, that is to the output. What is happening when input change polarity to negative? Let's first assume that output is also negative. In that case, point B is also negative, as well as point A. Inverting terminal of op-amp 1 is negative, non-inverting terminal of op-amp 1 is on the higher potential than the inverting. Op amp 1 is saturated to plus VC, so non inverting terminal of op amp 2 is on plus VCC. Means also higher than inverting terminal of op amp 2, so output of op amp 2 is also plus VCC. But assumption was that output was negative. This assumption is not sustainable, so when input is negative, output is positive. Point A has a main point and has a potential of 0 volts, same as non-inverting terminal of an op-amp 1. Op-amp 1 operates in linear regime, meaning it is not saturated. Op-amp 2 operates also in linear regime due to negative feedback, pushing point D to be on input minus input voltage potential. Diode is forward biased, so current flows through R3 to negative input voltage source. Another current flows through R1 and R2. Current magnitude can be calculated as 0 minus minus input voltage over R1, that is input voltage over R1. V out is then a 0 plus current multiplied with R2. If R1 is equal to R2, output is minus input voltage. However, if R1 and R2 are different, output is positive but with different amplitude comparing to negative input signals. This is how we can easily obtain Batman-like waveforms. But how we can simulate this circuit? Most people will not have access to electronics laboratory or be able to afford an oscilloscope, so here is an alternative. You can online simulate the circuit by going on above web ad address shown on this slide. Click on logo and then in operational amplifier simulation scheme section find absolute value amplifier link. From here you can go to a detailed tutorial on this issue with mathematical formulas by clicking on the link below the figure of scheme 
or you can see simulated waveforms by clicking on simulate button. Upper figure is with only one y axis while lower figure is with multiply y axis so every signal waveform is scaled.